Sharp Game here. Coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the rules for meeting beautiful women. And, you know, there's a lot of ideas and a lot of stereotypes, a lot of beliefs that guys have about meeting beautiful women and a lot of guys think that certain women are out of their league and you know I can go deep into this however I'm limited to what I can say on YouTube so I'm going to talk about this into a little details. I'm going to give a little details on what I think about this based on my experience. And I'm also going to start a Patreon, a private area where I can get much deeper and talk about the psychology and strategies and a lot of things just about socially functioning in society a private area where i won't be censored i can say what i want to say and if that interests you leave your comments below and if you're interested in he hearing more private and in much deep details videos Leave your comments below and let me know. So, the number one rule when it comes to approaching beautiful women is, in most cases, women choose the men. Now, unless you're a celebrity, entertainer, someone of of power and influence in your town in your city around the world now maybe you might have a little bit more leverage if you're a man but if you're the average man or the common man in most cases women choose the man now a lot of times, a lot of guys will say, this woman is out of my league because she's in a a certain environment. Maybe she might have a, a nice job title or something of that nature. But the reality is, it doesn't really matter how you feel, really. It doesn't really matter because because how you really feel that doesn't necessarily mean it's true. I mean you I mean somebody else more than likely gave you that idea, really. And you you this is why you have to be very confident within yourself. You have to be so confident. And believe in yourself so much when nobody else does. And the belief in yourself is really all that really matters. You know, what other people say about you, of course, it it might make you think. It might sound, some of the stuff people say it might sound a little messed up or tore up to the floor up. But you have to always believe that you can meet and date any woman you encounter. You have to feel like you're the baddest motherfucker that ever stepped on this planet. You have to think this way. You really have to because no one else does. No one else will. Because you have to realize women don't see you the way you see yourself. Women don't feel, won't ever feel the same way you feel about yourself or anybody else. So you have to be so sold on yourself 
where it's like ridiculous. You know, you have to have confidence like that. And if you see a woman that's very attractive, just approach her. Really? I mean, what's going to happen? If you get rejected, so what? <clears throat> you move on. She'll move on. Y'all don't know each other. Have a nice day. You're not going to die. I mean, you... You live. Nothing's going to happen to you. That's going to be life-threatening. So, hey, just move on and have a nice day. You know, really. And a lot of... Some of the most beautiful women, believe it or not, they don't get a lot of action. They might get approached a lot, but they don't go on a lot of dates and they don't have a lot of sex. And when you approach a lot of these women, you know, if things don't go your way, I mean, you don't have to call them names, resort to calling them names or you don't have to do any of that. Just keep it moving. And don't be intimidated just because they're beautiful. I mean, just because they're beautiful, that doesn't mean they think of themselves in the way you do. And a lot of, some of the most attractive women, believe it or not, they don't think they're beautiful. A lot of them have low self-esteem. A lot of them have been call names and people who have been you know kind of uh people don't lift them up people talk down to them so a lot of them have self-esteem issues so a lot of times if you approach them sometimes that might be a surprise for them you know Believe it or not. And and sometimes, you know, if, if you approach a beautiful woman and if the vibe is right, ask for the number. You know, I'm I rarely ask for phone I rarely ask for phone numbers or exchange phone numbers. But when I do, it's usually a mutual thing. It's usually no pressure, it's usually very kind of natural it's not like it's usually direct it's, it's not like i have to say anything fancy or a play with words it's usually a mutual thing and, and for the most part you don't have to use some crazy pickup line or any of that stuff really it's usually just simple and when i do get the phone number I usually call right away. I don't wait three days to call or a week or two weeks or I don't wait for her to call me and you know all the stuff that you might have heard online say you're supposed to wait two days later to call and I don't do any of that stuff. All that stuff is it's really silly to me. You know if you want to talk to somebody just dial them number and call them whenever you feel like it. Basically, I mean, you don't have to wait. There's no, shouldn't be no time sticker on when you should call somebody. Just shouldn't, it, it, it's same as, it shouldn't be no time sticker for anything, really. It shouldn't be no time sticker to call somebody. It shouldn't be no time sticker to have sex or any of that stuff. I mean, whenever you put a, 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 a time stamp on something, it's kind of like, you're managing the situation. You're trying to uh, kind of uh, it's kind of the, the relationship is kind of going. It's going. It's going to be kind of like a like like you're trying to manage the whole situation because you want a certain outcome in return. So that usually doesn't work very well you know it usually doesn't and I know sometimes meeting women in a public place and in certain environments can be tough sometimes especially if you're 
in uh, places like clubs and parties and uh, and even at work, you know, especially at work because work is a lot of politics and that happens at work. A lot of things happen on these jobs that, quite frankly, sh shouldn't be happening. And my opinion, when it comes to approaching women at, at your job, I've never wanted to mix the two together. I always wanted to keep work and my social life separate because if that, if you approach a woman at work the wrong way, it could go bad and you could, and you, and you, and there's a possibility that you could lose your job. So I always say, if you care about your job, or if you want to work that job for as long as you can, don't do it. Don't approach women at your job. Don't do it. You know, now I've heard a lot of stuff that happened on these jobs where guys felt like they were kind of uh, push to, to, to say and do certain things to keep their job. And that's another, that's a whole different ball game right there. But if I, I'm talking about just strictly approaching women or trying to make dates with women at the job, I've always been, my philosophy is, is I just don't do it because I don't think it's worth the risk, you know, because if it goes bad, um, you're going to still have to see this person. And there's already a kind of a bias at work when it comes to the men and women anyway. Women kind of get the benefit of the doubt. This, that's just across the board. So, and plus there's a good chance you could lose your job in the process once the smoke clears and everything. So I always say, ultimately it's up to you, but I always never wanted to mix my money with my honey as, as they say you know so that's just my thoughts on that and when it comes to clubs and parties clubs aren't the most aren't the best place to meet quality women. That's one thing I would say about that. So, you know, the clubs for the most part is full of drunks and alcoholics and people that they like to get high. You know, you have a lot of regulars up in there. You have a lot of people that are just passing through. You have people that are just looking for, looking for a good time to have sex, get high hang out, do whatever they do to have fun, whatever fun means to them. So whenever you go in that environment, just look to have a good time. That's it. Don't, don't, I wouldn't put too much stock in meeting quality women in there. Now it could, it might be some in there. It's possible you might meet some, you might meet a pretty decent woman in the clubs, but the odds are against it because of that environment. That environment doesn't breed quality people. This is what it is. It's not my opinion. That's just what I've been. That's what I, that's what I've experienced over the years, and it's been that way before we were born. So it's not like that's not my opinion. And, you know, then you got some people would say, hey, what about the church? What about meeting women at the church? Well, I have my opinion with that, too. Um, approaching women uh, and meeting women at the church. See, a lot of women that's in the church, they're going through something. So my thing is if you're going through something you gotta work work that on your own before you uh meet anybody 
you know now some people will say hey if you meet them at the church why don't you y'all work it out together uh i don't think that's fair you know i think if whatever personal problems you have especially if you don't know the other person you should take care of that first then you can start to meet people because if you're not happy with yourself first it's almost impossible to be happy with anybody else you know i know there's a lot of people out there will say hey you gotta work things out together all the time yeah if you know the person if you've been together for a while or a long time yeah but if it's a brand new person no if, if it's a brand new person on somebody that you just met no you work that out on your own first then you can get back to meeting people you know a lot of this stuff that you know i i, I talked about some people will say it's just common sense but you know common sense ain't common today and a lot of stuff you got to use your best judgment and you got to do what works for you and you just have to be very confident in yourself and you got to believe in yourself so like i said earlier i can go into great details about how to approach women and i'm thinking i'm starting a patreon site and if that interests you leave your comments below and let me know and I'll set it up and I'll do another video where I go in great details about approaching women and I talk about the psychology and approach and and everything about how to approach women so if that interests you let me know by leaving your comments below and if you like this video share it subscribe Go get my books, go get my t-shirts, cups, accessories, hoodies, everything by clicking the link below. So until next time, I'm out. Peace.